On the agenda today for the Board of Trustees, Ohio University's own fiscal cliff. The trustees discussed the university's budget and tuition. WOUB's Taylor Poole attended the meeting and is live in our newsroom with the details. Taylor? Thanks, Andrew. Ohio University officials are considering making some drastic changes to the, to the tuition model. Vice President for Finance and Administration Stephen Golding and Executive Vice President and Provost Pam Benoit presented the board with an outline of the problem facing Ohio University in the next year and the years to come. The pair presented a breakdown of the revenue sources of Ohio University and the lion's share comes from tuition. Golding actually calls OU a tuition-driven university, but he says that that model is just not sustainable. And, and so in essence, it is, the challenge that we have is we need multiple stable, stable revenue streams um, in order to cover and protect our academic quality and cover our costs of, of, of programs. And, and Based on a study of national trends, it is projected the amount of state funding for higher education in Ohio will be 0% by the year 2039. Ohio University officials are trying now to find ways to make the institution sustainable without state support, and some of those ways include making modifications to the tuition model. The first one we'll look at today is differential tuition. And differential tuition is variable tuition that's based on one's major program the college and sometimes on class standing. The benefits? The university can offer new majors that under the current system are too costly to support, and each college can address program costs. But the system may encourage students to enroll for the least expensive majors or would imply a higher value to certain major programs. The other option is called guaranteed tuition. And guaranteed tuition is a tuition rate for undergraduate students for four years that remains the same. And this is done in a variety of different ways by different institutions. In some institutions, what is guaranteed is the tuition. In some institutions, it is the tuition or the tuition and fees or the tuition fees and the board and other non-tuition expenses. There are a variety of different ways of what's included and what's not included in the guarantee. This option presents several benefits. One of the most obvious ones is predictability. This is a nice incentive to get students to graduate in the four-year period as well, because if you don't, then there will be an increased cost in that fifth year, because now you're going to be on a different cohort. But with the guaranteed tuition system, the university would take a risk of setting the guaranteed tuition too high. Since the university is not just supported by tuition, making changes to the tuition model will only solve part of the problem. Increasing enrollment in certain areas and expanding the programs that have space to fill will help, set, will help offset costs. Inviting more graduate students to OU, for example, will, help, will be an example of this because it will not increase university housing costs since most, since most graduate students live off campus. The Board of Trustees, Student Senate, and other governing bodies are working also toward a plan to maximize campus space. For example, the most costly buildings on campus are the academic buildings. That means that the university and the board of trustees does not want to fill this valuable space with administrative offices. Live in the newsroom, I'm Taylor Poole for WOUB News. Thanks, Taylor. The board of trustees has its business, business meeting tomorrow, and we'll report on that on Friday's News Watch.